So this is Venice. Alright, this is Venice. Venice, there's a Venice boat. Big dome. And some of these bridges, most of them are brick, some are wood, but some are actually iron as well. So this one here, this little one, looks to be wood. And of course, canals everywhere. And here are some gondolas in Venice. Canals everywhere, it's very, very cool. As you can see, all these buildings are actually red brick. They're just all being covered. Even the bridges are all brick. And here's some more brickwork, guys. And these bricks, I don't know if you can tell from the, the footage, but they're the, the thin bricks that we see a lot. Not, not the same size as the bricks we use today. They're about half as thin. Some of the wrought iron, which is everywhere. Of course, little alleyways. Here we are in just a typical street in Venice. just had a coffee at this little coffee shop.
Venice at night. There's another massive door over here. Massive doors everywhere. There's a big dome up there. Don't know if you can see it. There's another door that would be That'd be easy, 25 foot tall. They're everywhere here, and there's another one just in there. Crazy. And here's all the gondolas at night, all tied up, waiting for some romantic people to come tomorrow. So many boats around, it's crazy. I don't know how they don't hit each other. Check out these gates. Again, they're probably 30 foot tall. Check out this, some nice statues. Let's have a look. And a big garden behind there. <clears throat> Venice at night. This is the brick bridge we're walking over. Crazy.
Oh my god, guys, look at this place. Like, like what do you say to this? Built by horse and cart, they tell us. Lots of griffins around, and look at this building. Like, it is mega. Some big iron, wrought iron poles here. But this thing is just crazy. Built by horse and cart. Alright, so these are just the tops of the pillars on this ridiculous main building and every one, like the facading on the tops of all these pillars, they're all different. They're telling some kind of story. Lots of nature, musical instruments, people with animals and riding dolphins and stuff. There's someone riding a dolphin. But every one is different. So what is the story? What are these trying to tell us? It's the old world speaking to us. Just, just awe-inspiring is what it is. It's just... It's literally lost for words, guys. Lost for words. Alright, this is just crazy guys. Right. Just crazy this wall here. All different types of stone, all can see that, probably not. This one here. All different types of stone on the outside. Colors down there, they're all different stone. It's just crazy. And it's just everywhere. It's this building and I mean and there's obelisks. Everywhere, there's one on the corner of this building on each corner. There's griffins everywhere, there's one up on a tower out there. There's even some obelisks up the top there on this building. And of course, we're told they're all Egyptian, right? But we're in Italy, we've all seen this symbol before. That one, it's everywhere, arches. All the old world features, man, they're just everywhere. And then look at this building over here. It's, it's huge, it's so big and it's just perfect symmetry. The whole way along, just, just crazy stuff. Like, how did they do this? I mean, I'm wondering if they just imagined this into existence because it's just, it's just so much, so much. In Venice, we're in the main square of Venice. Just ridiculous, don't know what else to say. Look up here, you see these little spouty things, they're coming off the whole way along. I'm not sure what they are, and then on top, it's just ridiculous, just statues everywhere. It's just like, like look at this doorway. It's just every surface, man. Just ridiculous.
everywhere you look. Crazy. All built with copper tools and horse and cart apparently by primitive people. <laughs> in Venice guys, big towel there, but look at this place. Crazy guys, just, just insane. We've got two towers there, old world and in the background of course, a new kind of tower. And this place looks like a fort, so is it a star fort? We shall find out later. And this is the doorway to the fort. See one tower there, and then we have another tower there. Yeah, twin towers and a big doorway. Just crazy, and then canals, houses, even someone hanging out there washing. Imagine that being your back door. I've literally got a boat just sitting at the back door. This looks like it's a fort of some kind, so we're going to have to Google there. And it's a fort with a, a canal entrance. And then this. Got a griffin up the top there. Statues everywhere, it's just crazy. Alright, guys, so these are the two towers, and if we look 
in the background you can see it's a fort and down there is the crazy crazy front door This is the front door. You can see this is the fort, and they've actually got a sign saying it's a military zone. You can't go in there. But check this out. Got a griffin here. Got someone on top. Then we have these massive lions flanking it on each side. One sitting down. One. Well, I'm not standing up. Sitting up. And then we've got, looks like we've got Neptune there. <laughs> then we've got, um, I'm not sure, is that the dude with the wings on his feet? They all look like, basically like Greek gods, right? We are in Italy, we're close to Greece, but, and then again, this door, huge and it's made of copper it's absolutely massive and big griffin and there's griffins everywhere here and yes it is a red brick fort crazy stuff